Hey everybody, Marco, KC2ZMA. I haven't made a video in a while, so um, I've been updating my firmware on the CS800. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do a firmware update for the body. Um, I already did this firmware updates for the body, and there's actually a specific one for the front panel as well. Um, when you, if you get if you do connect, get the radio from Connect Systems, that's where I got the radio from. This is the body programming cable. It's like a nine-pin serial that goes back of the radio, and you have your regular USB. This one here is for the front. I've actually used this. I updated the front panel. I have two of these radios, CS800, um, and I think I've done it once. There's more firmware updates for the body than there is for the front panel. This plugs into here for the front panel. But I'm going to walk you through how to update the firmware for the body itself, the programming cable. This is the same programming cable too that you'll do like uh, the coat plug uh, for the radio as well. And uh, the project I've been working on, actually, not ham radio related, but little little uh, Nintendo retro Pi Nintendo gaming system and stuff like that this is a Raspberry Pi 3 uh, that's in there and um, this is not really ham radio related but on the next video after I show you about this radio this video what I'm doing with this radio here I'm gonna show you actually how to burn an image and um, I'm going to do a DV4 mini image, probably extract it somewhere off the internet, see who made an image uh, for, the, um, for the Raspberry Pi DV4 mini. So this is what the Pi 3, I'm sure you've seen these around. And, uh, you know, a little micro USB, um, micro SD card, actually. Uh, what I have here is RetroPie for... You know, old retro gaming systems. So I've been working on a project this. But it could be integrated to hand radio use. Because I'm going to show you how to do an image. On the next video I'm going to show you. But for now, I'm going to show you um, update the firmware on this guy. Okay, so as of today, I'm actually recording this on Mother's Day. All your mothers, happy Mother's Day out there. Uh, so as of today, the newest body firmware, 3.00.08. Uh, so I had before in there, I had all five. So um, depending on what firmware, if you have an older firmware, um, we have to do step by step. How I learned a lot of this stuff here, this is very important, here. So it's a Connect System website. Uh, if you go just to so software, that's how I got to the website. So software, uh, CS800, and this is the web page here for all the firmwares and stuff. So if you go down, read this whole thing right here for the CS800 and CS750. Uh, that's how I learned most of this stuff, how to uh, update the firmware for the front panel and even the body itself. Uh, so read read through all that. A lot of information there. Flash burn right here. This is the program that you used to put the firmware file into this program and it dumps it right into the radio. Um, Upgrade tool. This is, I believe, for the front panel. Front panel version is that. So my front panel version is 1.00.05. I'm still using the CPS version of 23 here. So I have everything in here. Here we go. Here's my co plug. Here's the, uh, it's a bin file, so it's a dot bin for the firmware right there. Uh, so here's the radio right here right 
per plugged into the back and plugged it right into USB. So open that file, run it. Just the program. It doesn't really install on your, on your uh, computer, so just run it. Standalone program. Yeah, I'll miniaturize this so you can see it better. This over here. So select bin. So here it is right here. So it's point zero eight. Open. All right. Now what I did wrong, I just realized it. You got to put this in the. I'm gonna shut this down. You heard the computer just uh, disconnect the USB. You know, higher the volume a little bit there, so you can hear it. So you have to push the P1 button here and the power. So you hold this P1 button down and power it up. Let go. And it says program removed. And you heard the USB just get it's green, red right here. And it's going to say program mode. It's selected right there. Flash. Let's see what happens. There he goes. See the bar right there? We really don't see anything on the radio. Just see that. You just see the progress bar right there. And it's just going to go up. It says that it reboots the radio, but it actually doesn't. You actually have to shut it down. So let it do its thing there. Goes fast. So it says data transmitted successfully. Please wait for radio to restart to confirm success. Success, but it actually doesn't reboot. Um, you know the radio just stays like that. So yeah, you could push OK here. I'm just going to shut it down. So hold it down. Let go. You can disconnect it from the computer. And that's it. There's nothing to it, basically. I don't have the... Um, Call the microphone connected to it, but if you go to serial number, uh, actually firmware version in radio info, it's going to say that's 0.08. And a few, few things have changed. I saw a GPS in there, um, but uh, I'm not sure what else there. But uh, so it says to wait. I've actually waited my other radio for a few minutes, but nothing happened, so I just shut the radio right down and fire back up. It's fine. Program. The code plug is in there. It didn't really mess up the plug code plug. Everything else is fine. And um, it's all set. Now this radio is up to the top latest version of 0.08. So uh, that's it. The radio is all done. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'll be making more videos. And I uh, haven't forgotten. <laughs> Thanks for watching.